This is Science for Success, the best soybean management practices by extension researchers from across the United States. Hi, my name is Michael Plumley, and I'm the Soybean and Corn Extension Specialist at Clemson University in South Carolina. And today I wanted to discuss with you soybean emergence and a few misconceptions when it comes to soybean emergence. So ultimately when we're planting, when we're planting soybean, we aim to plant enough seed to obtain a sufficient stand and population for your specific growing region to maximize yield. From the time you open the bag until the furrow is closed, several decisions that you, the grower, make can impact soybean emergence. So starting with a few misconceptions that we often hear when it comes time to plant soybeans and begin evaluating soybean emergence uh, would begin with first the soybean plant needs to have uniform emergence and uniform spacing also known as the picket fence or uh, to maximize yield but in reality emergence uniformity is not critically important in soybean recent research has shown no difference between random drop and precision planting in soybean until seeding rates were reduced below 40,000 seeds per acre. Misconception number two, soybean seed size of planted seed influences end of season crop yield. While seed size can influence emergence, as long as an adequate stand is established, there is no influence of planted seed size on yield. The effect of seed size on emergence is dependent on soil texture, planting depth, and environmental conditions from planting through emergence. Misconception number three, uh, supplemental nitrogen is essential to maximize yield in high yield environments. Typically with soybeans with active nodules do not require additional nitrogen even in high yield environments. The yield response that we see from additional nitrogen is rare, unpredictable, and not always economically viable. Misconception number four, suboptimal stands, stands of less than 80,000 seed per acre call for an automatic replant. Typically when we visually assess stand at the VE growth stage or emergence, uh, we often underestimate the total number of plants that will actually emerge. Therefore, uh, we often recommend that we wait till the VC growth stage to make sure that, to make a replant decision. Even at suboptimal stands, an automatic replant is not always the best economic decision. And the cost of replanting plus at, at the added planting date penalty must be considered before we make a replant uh, recommendation. The fifth and final misconception that I'll talk about today is that a seed treatment is required to maximize yield. Seed treatment should be utilized in situations where there is known pest history from insects or disease or in scenarios uh, where there's increased seed or seedling risk from cover crops or manured systems but the prophylactic use of seed treatments typically does not pay in most soybean growing regions. Science for Success is funded by the Soybean Checkoff.